Today, celebrities are telling me what football shirts to buy. Yes, we're back on Cameo, and for those of you that saw the last video will know we did this last week with pro footballers, and the results were... varied. Taking the piss is what he's doing. <laughs> But anyway, if you're new here, this is how this works. I go onto Cameo and browse the celebrities. I then pick five, send a message into them asking them to tell me what football shirt to buy. I then have two days to buy the shirts. If the shirt they ask me to get arrives within two days, then great, buzzing, lovely stuff. However, if it's an impossible to obtain shirt or would take longer than two days to get, I have to give away a 20 pound voucher that you can win by liking this video and subscribing to the channel simple right cameo welcome back at this point probably your most loyal customer you know i just love celebrities i love spending 50 quid for five seconds of their time i love celebrities i absolutely adore celebrities i adore chatting to celebrities spending my money on them and then them giving me five seconds of their precious time celebrities you know 50 quid five seconds four seconds of your time i love it i love it what a great way to interact with your fans I love it. Anyway, this time I've scripted this following message. Hi name, love your work. Obviously, we'll change name for their name. I run the YouTube channel Away Days and I'm asking people to tell me what football slash soccer jersey to buy. Could you tell me a jersey to buy by telling me a team name and year, please? Let me choose my victims this time and then we'll, we'll get out to them. Also, I just want to be aware, I'm trying to choose people this time that are like, like have had like a, at least like a number one single or something. You know what I mean? Like we're trying to, we're setting the bar high. It will go, it will come down. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> right, request sent in. If some of these come in, absolute gold. <laughs> I'll see you in a few days. Several days later. A few days have passed. Anything give it away? I've shaved. The worst thing about this is, right, I actually have shaved. And like, no one's, no one knows. It's like, oh, Ellis shaved that little thing. <laughs> There's a joke there, isn't there? Yes, but anyway, a few days have passed and I have placed all the cameos. They've been received. There is some gold. There's just some complete gold. What I'm actually going to do this time is, though, when I do the reveal, I'm going to show you the people that didn't send a cameo in, just so you can sort of establish the level that we, we were trying to get to. Yes, I need to order these shirts anyway, and I'll see you guys in a few days' time. I cannot wait for you to all see some of these because oh, there's so much gold. Just before we get into this, here's some celebrities who didn't send those in. Lady C, um, the one who did this. You're wet already. Yes, you naughty boy. <laughs> <laughs> Peter Sorkins, he won Bake Off and famously, well, not famously, looked like me. It, it's me, look, I won Bake Off. Brian Unger, who plays the lawyer on It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia, one of my favorite shows. The great Carly. <laughs> Hornswoggle and RJ Mitty, who plays Walt Jr. on Breaking Bad. But enough about the ones who didn't send them. Let's start with the ones that did. Right, our first person is someone that if you watch the WWE in the late 90s and early 2000s, you will be well aware of. It's Gilberg. Oh, <laughs> Honestly, I love what we're doing. I love this. I love this series so much. Anyway, it's what Gilberg requested. Bloody Gilberg. <laughs> What's up, fellas? How you doing, brother? Joe Boy Gilbert, WWS longest reigning late heavyweight champion. So you want to know what football slash soccer jersey? I think what you're saying is, see, I, I'm a big football fanatic. It would definitely be the Baltimore Ravens. You were talking about football, but I think you're talking about soccer. So I would say the Baltimore Blast, brother. That's what I would do. I would get a Baltimore Blast shirt. Yes, most definitely a Baltimore Blast jersey. What have we just bought? <laughs> what, 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 have you, what am I subjecting you to? <laughs> What's he doing? <laughs> what actually, he seems really happy. He seems like a really happy guy. The Baltimore Blast. Baltimore Blast. Like you all, I was thinking, who <laughs> the Baltimore Blast? Like, I think there's actually, I'm happy he's put that much effort into it to go, you know what? Not just like LA Gallic. Baltimore Blast. And you know what? I think I've succeeded there. Very impressive. You must be very proud. Someone on Depop was selling a Baltimore Blast vintage sweatshirt. I'm counting it. I'm absolutely counting that. That is... What? That's... Come on! Come on! That's a great find! What are the chances of that £18 this cost me? Come on, then! I, I'm buzzing with that. That's, that's, come on, Gilberg!
Girl bug. <laughs> what am I doing with my life? Not a bad start. Next up, we have the Hoosiers. I'm from Reading, and that means I have to support Reading. Um, your team chooses you. I see it. So, um, uh, and, and I'm going to go with 1986, because it was a great year. As far as I can remember, The Golden Child came out. I think Top Gun came out. It was a good year for film anyway. Um, and not so much for football, because Reading was the, were Division 2. This is pre-premiership, of course, you'll understand. But check this out. I don't know if you can see that there, but look. I'm talking yellow, 86-87, away strip beautiful canary yellow um but the, otherwise you've got a faded pale blue and white home strip i'd go with away because it's away days that's where it's at right um we were supported uh endorsed sponsored that's the word by a, a local brewers famed throughout the reading area um called courage and reading was uh it's always been famous for three things beer biscuits and f football Right, I'll be honest, the Hoosiers did kind of shape my childhood. But that he's he's even gone to the effort to get up like football kit archive as well and show the shirt. It's not an obtainable shirt. There's absolutely no I couldn't even like uh, they exist. I'm not no. No, so it's a 20 quid giveaway to one of you. All you have to do to have a chance of winning it is like this video, subscribe to the channel, and pff, nothing else, you know. You don't need to do anything else. Stop begging in the comments, please. <laughs> Goodbye, Mr. Ray! Way days, get it a way to shut up. Stop talking your nonsense on my time. Next up, 303. <laughs> yo, yo, what up, Ellis? It's your boy Nat from 303. We want to give you a big shout out. Thanks for requesting us on Cameo. And you asked a question I've been dying to answer. Uh, what soccer jerseys should you get with team? Well, listen, I am half French. My mom is French. And I happened to be in France in 1998 when France won the World Cup in France. So that's my answer to you. I bought it. I think it was like 100 bucks at the time. My mom is like, what the are you doing buying this jersey? But guess what? I still got it. I still love it. So my answer is the French national soccer team. It's an Adidas kit. It's an iconic kit. 1998. You got it. We've only got half a 303 here. So it's just free up and then the H X Mars free are not there. But it's, uh, it's a long video, certainly dragged on a bit, it's like one of mine. <laughs> and I know what you're thinking, France 98 shirts, they're not easy to come by, very hard to get, especially in a two day turnaround in one that's not a ridiculous price. Wood blam, he's done it anyway, no giveaway for you here. We've picked up the France 98 shirt, which um, admittedly it's not in the best condition I've ever seen one in, but I think I paid like 65 quid for it, whereas like usually you see them like one, two, five-ish. So I'm really happy with that. A nice addition to the collection, 303. Thank you for, he did start like, at the start when he says, You asked a question I've been dying to answer. No need for that tone. I've paid you. Here comes the money. Here we go. This leads us nicely onto our next one. It's British royalty. It's Basil Brush. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. I think I'm on the red lights flashing. Yes, it is. Perfect. Hello, Mr. Ellis. Yes, Basil Brush here. Now listen, I'm going to suggest to you that you buy a Leicester City football shirt. Because of course I'm a fox and they are the foxes. And the year you need to buy is the season 2015 to 2016 when they won the Premier League. Boom, boom! From Bezel Brush. Go on, get buying. Ta-ta. Oh, watch my hooter grow when I turn this off. Ta-ta, Mr Ellis. Bye-bye. What are we doing? What are we doing anymore? We've peaked. The channel doesn't go anywhere. We don't go higher up than this. Basil Brush. <laughs> what a time to be alive. Leicester 15, 16 shirts are like 200 quid. And I did think about it. I was like, do I do it? But then I was like, no. Like, no. There's such a collector's piece, right? But I'm not a Leicester fan. Hopefully one day there'll be a Leeds story that I can be like, I've got that. You know what I mean? It's a 20 quid giveaway to you. There's a second one where you have three to have a chance of winning it is like the video and subscribe to the channel. Also, just a quick one. If you are a giveaway winner, please check your YouTube notifications. I will never do a giveaway through Telegram. If I ever ask you to join Telegram, it's not me. Look for the account with a tick. I'll ask you to reach out to me via Twitter. So, yes, look out for your YouTube notifications as some people don't check them and, you know, sometimes don't claim their prizes. So be sure to do that. Two £20 giveaways going for you. Skew on to the last couple of items. Next up, we have Deep Roy. 
who's famous for playing all of the Oompa Loompas in the uh, Johnny Depp, Charlie and Chocolate Factory film. And here's his message. Hello, Alice, regarding a uh, soccer jersey, as we called it, a uh, football uh, shirt in England. Uh, my team is Arsenal, and uh, they are at the moment uh, top of the Premier League. I think you should buy number 10 because he's the playmaker. Uh, in every team, number 10 is the number to wear in soccer and uh, wish you all the best for your future endeavors and have a great 2023 thank you deep roy asked me to get an arsenal shirt with number 10 the playmaker on does emil smith row count as a playmaker i mean he's brilliant he's got the goal to get leeds promoted he's um got a massive future in the game and obviously arsenal fans love him i think he's fantastic at football does it count as a playmaker though as a winger i don't know anyway Here's a shirt I got. Thank you, Deep Roy. You've made me deeply love you. The shirt from Deep Roy was Arsenal's home shirt from last season. Um, it does count. It's still a Smith Rowe on the back, right? It's Smith Rowe 10. I think this is the first season he was number 10 for Arsenal. I mean, there's nothing I can really do with it. I just have to keep it. Thank thanks, Deep. What are they doing? Then finally, you guys in the intro would have seen that I asked for RJ Mitty, who was from Breaking Bad. For those of you who don't know, I'm very open about it. Breaking Bad and Better Call Saul are my two favorite shows of all time because I have impeccable taste. It's false. No way. Not this time. So I wanted someone from there. So we managed to get Stephen Michael Quezada to send one in who plays Gomi in Breaking Bad. Him and Hank, you know, iconic characters. Can't believe I've got him to say my name. Here's what he sent in. Hey, Alice, it's me, Gomi. The audio cut out halfway through. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into seventy-five pound that cost. <laughs> That's not even a joke, either. that was seventy-five pound. I reached back out and asked him to do another one, and he, he sent me this message saying, I guess I don't really understand the request. I like American football, not soccer. So he seems like a nice man. It's just a really flat end to the video. <laughs> that was a big one. I was like, oh, it's gonna be so good. People say, Oh my god, he's got some breaking bad in. And I did. I technically did get someone from Breaking Bad in the video. <laughs> Just not, not in the way we wanted. <laughs> not in the way we wanted at all. Another giveaway for one of you, so it takes it up to three giveaways. Once again, all you have to do to have a chance of winning is like this video and subscribe to the channel. Such a <laughs> poor end, isn't it? Yes, that has been celebrities telling me what football shirts to buy. I think we might do another one of these in the future, but for now we're gonna move on to like doing my normal shirt content. Like I wanna do more story-based stuff. I've got some really cool things lined up for you guys to see soon. More shirt shopping, more shirt hunting. I've been Ellis. Be sure to subscribe for more away days. Be sure to like this video if you have enjoyed it. And also, you know, to have a chance of winning them free £20 vouchers for you to pick a football shirt of your choice. I'll be Ellis and I'll see you very soon. Ciao, ciao. I'll be Ellis? I will be Ellis. That's not a lie. I've been Ellis and I will be Ellis. See you very soon. Ciao, ciao. Bye. Hey, Ellis. It's me, Stephen Michael Casada. Um, I'm going to redo this, uh, but again, I'm going to tell you that uh, uh, I, I didn't grow up watching soccer, so I don't watch soccer, but I do watch football, uh, American football, and uh, so, uh, you know, I'm a Cowboy fan, um, I wear uh, the Cowboy colors, and we finally won a playoff game, uh, and so my favorite journey, jersey, actually, is Emmett Smith's jersey, number 22. And he played, as you know, in, in the 90s. And uh, so um, that's my jersey. That's my team. That's my player. Uh, and uh, that's what I got. Uh, I hope that helps you.